Hi, I'm Tanya, and I'm from Rockhampton in Queensland. I'm here to tell you about the features of our beautiful Fitzroy Basin here in central Queensland. It's the largest river catchment flowing to the eastern coast of Australia and the second largest overall after the Murray-Darling Basin. The Fitzroy Basin includes 11 catchments, with their creeks and rivers flowing into the Fitzroy River and its estuaries, eventually flowing out to the Great Barrier Reef. The Fitzroy Basin is home to the communities of Rockhampton, Biloela, Theodore, Taroom, Injun, Rolleston, Springshaw, Emerald, Blackwater, Dingo, Duringa, Middlemount, Murrinbar, Claremont and Nebo. When the basin is flooded, waters can take up to two weeks to drain. So being familiar with the flood warning arrangements in the Fitzroy can help you and your community to understand the consequences of heavy rainfall and flood predictions. We can avoid getting caught or isolated by flood water when we know about the hazards and likely impacts in our local area. Having a good situational awareness is everyone's responsibility. It helps us make timely and wise decisions. Your local council can help you better understand the impact and consequences of rising flood waters and what you can do when that happens. In the Fitzroy region, our councils are working together with Queensland government agencies in a collaborative, whole of catchment approach to best practice management of our flood warning infrastructure and our flood risk. Other stakeholders are also involved, including the Bureau of Meteorology, Sunwater and Queensland Rail. As Queenslanders, we know that flood events are one of our major hazards. Floods can be a risk to life and create problems for people when water damages buildings and infrastructure or cuts roads. There are social, economic and environmental impacts for our communities. But floods are also a natural process and floodwaters help to replenish and support our wetland ecosystems and our agricultural land after long periods of drought. Floods can occur in different ways. Flash flooding can be caused by severe storms with high volumes of rainfall over a short period of time. Flash floods can affect local creeks, which can overflow and inundate parks, roads and water crossings. Flash floods can overwhelm local stormwater pipes, open drains and local creeks, and combined with overland flow, can cause short-term inundation to property and business. The pace or velocity of the water in can be fast, which also has damaging effects to property. Shallow, fast-moving water can wash a car off a river crossing, so if it's flooded, forget it. Riverine flooding is a result of heavy and sustained rainfall over a region that is generated by tropical cyclones, lows or monsoon troughs. Riverine flooding happens when there is too much water and the flow capacity of creeks or rivers, known as waterways, become overwhelmed and burst their banks and flood areas which are not normally underwater. Riverine floods can be significant disaster events that impact individuals and communities and have long-term social, economic and environmental consequences. For flood warnings, the Bureau of Meteorology uses data and information captured by the various types of flood warning infrastructure. Let's take a look at some examples across Queensland. Rain gauges can be found placed around catchments all over Queensland to monitor the level of rainfall. These gauges can vary in their appearance and how they work. This is an automatic rain gauge and this is a manual rain gauge. Our river gauges measure water levels along Queensland's river systems. This manual river gauge is read by volunteers who visit the gauge location and report to the Bureau on the height of that river. This is done daily, or sometimes as the river rises, on an hourly basis. This automatic rain and river gauge uses a range of sensors that relay data to the Bureau on a real-time basis, either using 3G, 4G or UHF technology. And this automatic rain and river height gauge also has a traffic camera strategically located near a river crossing so water levels can be monitored for road safety. So river gauges assist the Bureau of Meteorology to communicate flood warnings to Queensland communities. For example, warning an at-risk downstream community using flood descriptions or flood classifications of an event as minor, moderate or a major. These forecasts warn our communities about the approximate size of the flood and when it is likely to reach different locations so that people know how to respond. Queenslanders are resilient when they know their flood risk and get ready by having a plan in place. Register with your local council for warnings and alerts and visit your local council website or disaster management dashboard for the latest emergency information. Have an emergency kit ready to withstand isolation and power outages for at least 72 hours. To learn about your flood risk, contact your local council. For disaster preparedness advice, visit getready.qld.gov.au. 
Learn more about our resilience strategy for the Fitzroy region at qra.qld.gov.au forward slash Fitzroy.